Good morning, dear friends. Today is Thursday, as usual, and uh, Victoria Vlasova, the Luke's Private School, as usual, are together with you. I uh, do believe that uh, today's uh, live stream that is concerned uh, highly theatres, uh, not only theatres like um, like in art, yeah, but possibly, of course, theatres is big art, uh, contemporary, ancient art, yes, of course, but we will also speak about the influence of theatre for Ukrainian people, uh, for Ukraine itself. We will talk much about uh, what theatres are in Ukraine. Uh, either you, dear students, dear guests, uh, visit theatres, what exactly it gives for you, so what you receive from theatres. And uh, actually, today I would also like to speak about uh, understanding of theatre and understanding of theatre as an art. Okay, so join, uh, join us, uh, everyone who is there. Uh, welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, much information I do believe we will share with each other. I think and I hope, hi everyone, hi. I do believe that uh, it's not only me who will share the news and who will share some interesting ideas. I do believe that you, dear guests, will be and will become active not only listeners but speakers, okay? Uh, today's topic, one more time, it's theatre. And uh, the first thing that uh, uh, I put on in my quote yesterday, yeah, uh, probably you have read, probably not, but uh, I put down the words by um, Stanislavski, it's actually in my uh, profile, both in Instagram and uh, in uh, Facebook. Uh, so Stanislavski told a very interesting phrase, a very interesting uh, quote about theater. Yeah, that uh, uh, it's a big deal to come to the theater, and uh, uh, it gives not only the understanding of acting, yes, but the understanding of life itself. When uh, people come to the theater, they are looking, of course, for some emotions. Uh, they are looking, of course, for uh, some feelings, intensifying of feelings, yes. But also they do come to cinemas. What's the difference? Uh, what's the difference between two, uh, two vectors or two definitions of art, theater and cinema? Cinema, of course, if we talk about, we have many doubles, we can have some changes if, you, if we do not do uh, exactly what the producer wanted. But theatre, it's mostly uh, like spontaneous work, it's mostly like uh, uh, real emotions that you show, no artificial effects in it. So it's much, uh, uh, much more serious, it's much uh, deeper and uh, sometimes I do believe uh, when I see, when I come to theatres that actors uh, overcome uh, emotions and they overcome feelings that they have and they show sometimes their real life and uh, their real suppositions of what they are, or what the plot is and uh, all uh, everything that is going on in their deep souls we can see on the stage it's true well concerning uh concerning ukrainian theater before we talk and uh, uh what ukraine can give to the world by uh, by theatrical shows uh, by everything that uh, we can see in ukrainian theaters uh, first of all i would like just to uh, to uh, point and uh, to discuss with you uh, some of not types but of kinds of re representation of uh, theater in Ukraine yeah I don't know about the world probably you will tell me but I do believe that it also exists uh, in Ukraine we have uh, like as for me the gradation yeah as for me the sorting out uh, first of all, we can tell that we have classic theater, yeah, classic theater that uh, is represented also all over the world. Uh, well, classic it means different kinds of uh, of theaters, like premises, like buildings where the acting is taking place. Uh, why classic? Because normally. 
uh, normally all the scenes and everything they are based on uh, classic literature, classic plays, classic plots. Yes, definitely. It's uh, uh, different plays or whatever, um, international or Ukrainian. In Kiev, for example, for you, dear guests, uh, uh, we have many theaters, and uh, I do believe that Ukrainian people are very fond of them. We speak about classic, uh, less Ukrainian kids, our neighbor, uh, Ivana Franka. So even the theaters are called according to the names of Ukrainian um, Ukrainian uh, uh, poets, writers, uh, very famous of the last epochs. Yes, but uh, uh, in the same uh, uh, time, simultaneously, uh, in Ukraine exists nowadays, and by the way, it is spread really very um, fastly, quickly. Uh, it's a kind of experimental theater. It's a kind of uh, psychological theater. Yeah, and uh, one of them in Kiev, probably it, it will not be the news for you, but who knows. Uh, so the uh, kind of this uh, um, yeah, theater in Kiev, I'm just talking about Kiev because uh, I currently live in, in Kiev. And uh, the name of this theater experimental one is Black Square. Probably you might know this theater. Uh, it's a kind of uh, art of representation that uh, sometimes shocks you. Uh, why? Because uh, it's not like a vectorical classic, yeah, so you will not find like restriction of emotions, yeah, I mean uh, restrictions according to social norms and according to social dogmas, but uh, it's a kind of free, mm, free uh, theat theatrical art that shows the liberty not only of uh, um, not only of your emotions of feelings but also of your spontaneous acts uh, spontaneous acts and everything that you uh, feel even in the exact moment when the performance is happening when the performance is going on Yes, if you know, dear guests, uh, dear listeners, hello, hello, everyone. Uh, yeah, today we are speaking about theaters, about Ukrainian theater, um, about Ukrainian theater to the world, what it gives to the world. Uh, yes, and uh, mm, mm, we are talking about experimental theater nowadays. Uh, black theater, it's one of uh, Ukrainian. Uh, performances that presents to speakers, to uh, spectators. If you know, yes, I have a question. Mm, uh, if you know anything of uh, that kind of experimental theater in the world, uh, for me it will be nice to uh, read your comments and to read the information, any information that you have uh, concerning both classic and experimental theaters, not only in Ukraine, but if you know, also in the world. Uh, well, talking about, talking about uh, classical theater, yes, and exactly what Ukrainian theater can give to the world, uh, of course, um, I, I do believe that uh, um, actors uh, and uh, theater sphere, they do work and they do make some premieres and they do make some plays and performances that they can bring and uh, show all over the world not probably as much all over the world but still if we speak about Great Britain if we speak about uh, um, some European countries um, I don't know about the United States of America uh, but talking about Europe about uh, Western society uh, they have uh, uh, right now uh, an interest, yes, a high interest to Ukrainian theater and uh, uh, it, uh, it deals highly with, uh, 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 with the positions of uh, uh, theaters, uh, uh, theaters, classic theaters of Ukraine that represent uh, the traditions of our uh, people, the old traditions of our people. And uh, I do believe, I do, uh, I do think that uh, uh, Ukrainian traditions and special uh, plots, special uh, 
uh, traditions concerning history and historical events. It, uh, it presumes a high interest to Europe, to, to the Western world. Um, and uh, the main question why? Um, because in all plays, well, it's my subjective, uh, subjective idea, if you want to criticize or you want to make your own uh, ideas, of course, write in your comments. Uh, but I still, uh, in my experience that I have had uh, while visiting uh, theaters, I do not do it too, too often, but still, there is a kind of tradition. Uh, whatever I see concerning Ukrainian uh, performance, uh, of course, it deals much with details of Ukrainian history, uh, with details of history of living, how people um, were living in different epochs, yes, in different stages, and uh, uh, it shows highly highly the the customs of people, the customs of uh, uh, Ukrainian life, uh, of uh, problems that they have had, uh, the uh, the situations, the the customs of family, uh, the customs of uh, generations that they had. Uh, of course, we all know that uh, um, that Ukraine uh, had a very difficult history, and probably this. Uh, uh, probably these events, yes, and this kind of uh, history uh, fascinates, uh, fascinates highly um, Western world and it gives them something uh, that they do not have in their, uh, in their traditions, in their styles, way of life and uh, of their history. Probably uh, might be, yeah, that even these events they uh, somehow evoke uh, and somehow uh, wake up the Western world and uh, try them to penetrate uh, deeply in the history of uh, Ukrainian people. Uh, yes, what else? Uh, so if uh, if you want the uh, guests and students to uh, comment, to give some ideas of yours, you're welcome. Uh, please write to me because probably I cannot know everything, yes, of, uh, of Ukrainian uh, theater. And for me, of course, it will be interesting to listen to your ideas. Well, uh, the main line that uh, is uh, interesting, is essential for Ukrainian theater, not only for Ukrainian theater, of course, it's uh, uh, drama. Yeah, of course, it's drama, drama that is um, almost, I think, if we speak, if we touch one more time the position of uh, Ukrainian theater, drama and dramaturgy, uh, they are always uh, simultaneous, they are always coming with the Ukrainian representation in uh, in classic theaters, not only classic, but today we also spoke about uh, experimental theater in Kiev. It's uh, right now a new one, black uh, square. By the way, there is, uh, I just reminded it, uh, there is one more, it's called uh, in Russian, in Ukrainian, Shalu. Uh, so, step for you, dear listeners, from abroad. Yeah, it's uh, uh, it's a content of uh, German dramaturgy, drama, drama acting. Uh, also, we have it uh, on the plot in Ukraine uh, right now, and uh, it's also it concerns highly to uh, have performances and representations of youth. Um, also, speaking about youth uh, and young actors that uh, participate in theaters in Kiev. Uh, by the way, if you know other cities, write me also in your comments. But in Kiev, we have also uh, Chugu, uh, Theatre of Young Spectator, um, uh, where also there are representations both of classic and experimental theatres. And the actor stuff, uh, actor's rank, is mostly the youth. Uh, yeah, different representations, you can also come over there. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, speaking about Ukraine in the world, who visited, uh, just the question for you, dear guests, who visited uh, foreign countries, uh, probably uh, English uh, theater uh, in honor of Shakespeare, probably some other theaters, write me please in your comments about your international experience and uh, if you can compare 
Ukrainian uh, plotting and uh, Ukrainian style, I mean theatrical style with international or probably uh, you have known and you have uh, uh, seen uh, somehow of Ukrainian representations abroad. Uh, write to us please to Deluxe School to me to Victoria Vlasova your comments about how you feel. Um, the history and uh, Ukrainian style of representations, uh, theatrical representations abroad. Well, uh, the next uh, position uh, I would like to ask you about why uh, do you go to theatres? Uh, why do I go to theatres? I will answer this question. Uh, and while I'm speaking, while I'm talking about my personal uh, experience, of course, uh, write me about the reasons, main reasons, why you, uh, dear guests, dear viewers, uh, visit theatres. What do you expect from theatre uh, to give you, uh, to fill you with? Yes, and actually uh, the main reasons of coming there. Is it for you mostly the rest, uh, the relax? Or probably it's not the relax, uh, probably it's deep philosophy. Okay, so I'm waiting for your answers, I'm waiting for your comments. And uh, while I'm waiting, so my experience and my emotions of visiting theatres, uh, first of all, I should say that uh, I'm really empowered by uh, theatres. Uh, for me, it's a big, big, uh, mm, big uh, splash of uh, uh, not only emotions, but of thoughts, I would rather say. Of thoughts, and why? Because uh, theatre gives me a plot, a surface, a background uh, to think over Mm, about different uh, life stories, about different uh, problems that might occur and the ways out, how they solve this. Uh, for me, theatres, it's like uh, books, if to compare. Uh, because uh, uh, there is no much of uh, extreme plots like in cinemas we have, yeah, Pif Path, something, action, comedies, uh, too much of uh, um, upper emotions, yeah, upper emotions, not, not very, very deep. But uh, if we talk about theatres, this act, this real act of people, of actors that are uh, represented uh, on the scene, it's truly, uh, truly real, we should say, yeah? There are no uh, extra doubles, there are no uh, just reshooting uh, of uh, actions, yes? And it's sincerity. For me, it's a big sincerity and uh, true, uh, true positive energy uh, that uh, actors give for me. I always uh, remember when I'm sitting in the theater, uh, just to have like two ways. Yeah, first way it's direct, it's what I see, it's what I feel. And another one, it's uh, I try to concentrate on, um, on uh, feelings that are uh, awakening. Yes, in myself, I try to understand my reflection to it, uh, my attitude and uh, actually what I feel what I am feeling in that moment uh, when I'm sitting and uh, observing and uh, um, even I consider myself to be the direct participant of, uh, of event, of acting, of a big, big performance. Also, uh, to, have, uh, to have the truth, to be, to be, to be trustful with you, uh, my big uh, idea, not dream, but probably um, I will somehow realize it in, uh, in the nearest future, in the latest future, uh, I would like to act on the scene, I would like to be a part of a big, big performance, uh, theatrical performance. And uh, I would like to give probably uh, to give the, 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 the sense of my life, the sense of my feelings, emotions, my life experience uh, to the public, to the spectators, to everyone who comes to the theater to look for um, splashing uh, positive collecting energy that uh, that we have. 
well uh, of course uh, we uh, cannot eliminate uh, such reason as uh, uh, intellectual one yeah intellectual reason of visiting theaters of course a part of reading books even I would say that uh, reading is uh, closely connected with theaters uh, because even if we speak about uh, theatrical performance and uh, compare it uh, with what we have and with what we read in books, uh, it's, uh, it's a big difference as for me. Of course, the plot is the same, the acting, I mean the plan of acting, yeah, the names might be the same. But, of course, we do not have in a book uh, something of, uh, of bombing, something of essential that uh, theatrical act gives us. And one more time I should say that uh, books do not give us the um, sensation of being a participant of this performance. Yeah, it's, uh, it's worth to be mentioned, of course. Uh, for people who joined us, uh, one more time, good morning. And uh, we are talking about theatres, about Ukrainian theatres, about what it gives to you visiting theatres, how often you do visit theatres or you do not, or probably you prefer cinemas um, as a part of, uh, of an art uh, that show the play of, uh, uh, of actors. Yes, uh, well, uh, Ukrainian theatre, we are coming back to Ukrainian theatre, uh, we have uh, on the political level, if we speak, yeah, we have the um, different awards for actors, yeah, we have different state awards for Ukrainian theater, and uh, we even have the International Day of the theater. Actually, right now I can't remember exactly the date. Uh, if you know, please write me in your commentaries. Yes, but uh, talking about awards, uh, there are different stages awards for uh, for being awarded, to be honored by uh, by the president of Ukraine on the political level. Uh, there are three stages, uh, first, second and third. Uh, there are also some honorable titles for actors on the political level. It's uh, People's uh, Actor of Ukraine, it's Honorable act uh, Actor of Ukraine, and uh, it's like an acting, honorable acting of arts in Ukraine. Uh, so, in Ukraine, um, in our country, uh, I think that uh, theater as, uh, as a performance, as an art, as a part of cultural life of Ukraine is taking a principal position and uh, uh, it's, it's honorable and it's really uh, a praiseful for Ukraine. Um, I can't just compare right now much with uh, um, international, um, international even political rating of theatres or international uh, cultural rating of theatres. Uh, but if you know uh, anything, if you know some, um, some facts, uh, some statistics or some interesting comparison analysis, Please, uh, in the end of my live stream, uh, you can share it together with uh, me and uh, with other uh, participants, viewers and spectators of today's live stream. Uh, I do believe that it will be interesting for all of us to read and to know more about theatre and to know more about uh, theatrical representations and especially what it gives and how it unites uh, the world, it unites the countries all over the world and it unites people all over the world. Okay, uh, so what can I, um, how can I conclude today's live stream? Uh, I think that uh, according to what we have told and have discussed today, of course, Ukrainian theater and theater must uh, uh, stay alive. It must find uh, inspiration, motivation uh, to uh, continue to be interesting and to get interest uh, all over the world. And of course, uh, those who uh, did not visit theaters or do not do it often, my highest recommendation for you to do it more, both for your intellectual, for your artistic and for your personal uh, soul and personal emotions that it will definitely provoke in you. 
Uh, thank you very much that today you stayed with me, with Victoria Vlasova in the Luke's Private School. See you next week and I'm wishing you a positive, fruitful day today. Bye-bye. Stay cool.